Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Korean Conquest in Europa Universalis 4. So right off the bat, we missed a little bit of time, about half hour, one, one episode, because my recording software decided to corrupt the last episode in my previous recording session, unfortunately, but life happens. And I don't think we missed much, because we have been going at a somewhat sort of slightly slower clip, but we missed me getting Magellan's Voyage. We got the first navigation, so I feel kind of bad about that, proof be told, because I would have liked to show that on camera because it's been something I've been trying to get for a long time now, but life goes on. Anyway, oh yeah, and also I just noticed the uh, little thing saying we can buy stuff in trade regions is gone. So either we don't have enough money, or maybe that just corrected itself. Anyway, uh, let's see, tier stuff. So we can go with regional representation, which lowers uh, autonomy by 10% in territory, so that's pretty good. Or, we are the state. I, I like having more states, however, um, yeah. Let's actually take a bit of a look at this. How many states can we have? States, states, states. Where are my number of states? Not there. Pretty sure they're in here somewhere. It's cultures, it's non-accepted cultures, we're empire. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. But can I find it? Probably not. Ah, there it is. So we can actually have 26 states. We have 16 states right now, 42 territories. Hmm. The quick maths tells me that uh, overall, more states would probably be better because we'd have more provinces at lower autonomy. However, however, Well, actually, there's, there's probably at least 10 states in here. Ugh. Challenging, challenging stuff. I mean, we can always go back and change these things. I feel for right now, though, because uh, admin point-wise, we're probably not going to be stating stuff up a lot anytime soon, because there is a lot of, a lot of, oh, but then again, we're actually going to be, um... Yeah, we're going to have finished annexing our vassals soon-ish. So this might be better. You know what? Let's let's go with this for now, and then we'll kind of see where things end up going. Let's see. A theocratic government. Become a republic. Legislative houses. Which gives us more admin policies. Or political absolutism. Get plus five absolutism and an extra yearly absolutism. All right. Well, we'll see how that works out. All right. Good times. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But our goal for now, we're going to stay at war here. It's 100% war. Life is great for us. But my thought process here is let's go and eat Oda. Because why not, right? Look at them. Look at them over here. Now I am wondering how precisely I want to do this. I think most of their army is over here. So we're going to have our units. Oh, that's a mothballed fort. That's a mothballed fort. So if I declare war, I can actually seize this almost instantly. Any, uh, any more moth- there's a mothballed fort here as well. Okay. This is the plan. You go here. So, you go there, grab this. You'll gro go here and grab this. And we'll instantly get two forts. There's so over there. Good for you. And you are a tributary of Oda, so we don't- we don't want to go to war with you yet. Alright. And we're gonna stay at war, even though we've- basically won this war. We're gonna stay at war for now because we're getting 
we're getting extra mandate growth here. And yeah, and in about a year, we can go to war with Bengal again. Is Bahamadis in this? Damn, they're actually attacking Bengal right now. So I actually, the way I might want to do this is conquer so that we can go, to, well, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how this all uh, ends up playing out. But yeah, I guess I should conquer in a way so that I can like really, really get in here and do not nice things to these Indian powers here, get all kinds of sweet, sweet tributary goodness. And also, we want to finish conquering Mongolia so we can go to war with Russia so we can make them a tributary. Because they don't really have any good friends who would be able to protect them. But the Ottoman... Well, no, actually, since the Ottomans and, and Russia are enemies... Okay. This is something I did not uh, take into account. But we actually have rebels getting ready to pop over here. Do, might actually want to slow down on my plans of, uh, yeah, just drilling. But we are going to kind of sit at war for now, because there's really no reason to leave this war. And assuming... Okay, you're still making your way over. Assuming that they don't unmothball their forts in the time it takes us to get over here. Let's see, lower tax or lose meritocracy, but gain more taxes. If people have enough, can the ruler have too little? Let's see, word has reached you that a truly exceptional essay has passed through the examination system in one of your provinces. It argues convincingly and in excellent literary style that it is folly to expect a country to be rich from increasing taxes. Our examiners describe this text as profoundly, uh, profoundly crafted, and there's no doubt that it'll give rise to a new style for examination essays for years to come. The meat of the essay itself, however, cannot be ignored. The argument that avoiding high taxes makes the people as a whole richer, and therefore the empire itself richer, is a classical wisdom easy to overlook. Oh, and this actually only lowers taxes in one area. Okay. Whereas this gives us a national tax modifier increase. Okay. I mean, in reality, this is kind of what I believe. I at least in the sense that if you lower taxes for the working class, raise taxes on, you know, the rich elite types, you know, the 1% or 0.1% or whatever decimal it is these days. Yeah. Because when you have... Not trickle down, you want trickle up. Because if you give people who already don't have enough more money, then they will spend that money, and that means the money keeps circulating in the economy, whereas if you cut the taxes for the people at the top, what tends to happen is they just hoard that wealth. Like, yeah, yeah, they make their investments and stuff, but as has been seen in practice in some nations, is that, uh, yeah, you keep cutting taxes on, like, corporations and on the rich, and what ends up happening is, even though you'd figure that because they have more money, they're able to, like, invest that and do more economical stuff, there, it, it doesn't really tend to work out quite that way. In fact, if I recall correctly, I remember reading an article in the U.S., like, there was one state, and it's probably happened multiple times if this is, like, a general trend, that they cut corporate taxes to try to attract more jobs, and it basically collapsed the economy of their state because... I guess the companies that were there weren't really reinvesting the money and it didn't really encourage more companies to come in or something like that. I don't know. If you're interested in like real world economics and the whole disparity between the rich and poor and so on and so forth, that's probably there's some good reading to be had there. But uh, I don't know. I like <laughs> more tax money. So for me as a rich elite of uh, in game terms, Ah, but then again, what if this causes an event chain where, like, cool stuff happens? You know what? Screw it. We'll go with, we'll go with that. Why not? And we'll slow down time. Ah, oh, but February is the shortest month. Would we be able to get there in time? That's the thing, isn't it? 
Well, then again, this gives us more movement speed, so... All right, let's do it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then life goes on. And uh, let's say we want to take Minnow. And so will join them, but who cares about so? So is so. So is so so. All right, you go there, you go there. This guy will go here. You will arrive. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make it in plenty of time. So I don't really... No! Get out there! There we go. You're still gonna make it in time, right? Yes, just in time. God, we're good. All right, so yeah, these are gonna instantly finish. Which is good. And I actually think I'm gonna I'm gonna split you in half, and I'm gonna send the ever half over here, just to try and keep the uh, keep these guys in line. And as for tech, so we're still going here. That is a lot of money. So we should probably, yeah, fighting Delhi and like the Indian miners over here to get money in order to embrace. Uh, Institutions is going to be pretty important, I say. Or I think. Forever. Alright. Uh, you guys can go here. The uh, dump our... Guys. Where the heck is... Uh... I mean, they do have... They actually have a lot of cavalry. Hmm. I would say too much cavalry in... What do you mean I lost the effect of the war for the Celestial... But I'm still fighting! You fools! <laughs> well, I guess, or maybe this only lasts so long. Alright, I guess we can peace out. Okay. So we'll take you, and... All of this, I'm gonna feed to my vassal eventually. Let's take it state by state, shall we? Actually, to be honest, just that... Just this to our state, and the rest for me. How much money do you have? Not as much money as I would like. How much uh, overextension? 67%. So yeah, I, I core all of this. I hold on to this until we finish our war of Japan. Actually, you know what? I might as well just keep this going until we can peace out. Because then I can really get a feel for how much I should give to Chu. All right, so another year, and then we'll have to tech up. Though, let's also take a look at how global trade is going. We didn't spawn it, by the way. I'm pretty sure we didn't catch that on camera. 1614. Yeah, this is... It's going to be kind of slow, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of slow, because it only speeds up if we're directly next to each other. And across uh, sea tiles doesn't count, apparently. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Getting global trade to spawn can be a real hassle. Alright. Yeah, I mean, ten, uh, ten of you, that should be pretty easy to deal with. They're gonna have to re-siege that. We have re-sieged this. Oh, there was a fort over here. We could have... We could have made our lives easy. If only I had known in time. Anyway, I guess another thing I've got to be careful of is, like, we do want to make sure we spread out. We want to, we want to try to avoid fights where possible. Because, of course, we don't want to, we don't want to have to spend any more than we absolutely positively have to. Yeah, there's not even anyone. Wait. I thought it said so was going to come in. Or... Oh, that, that's so. This is a different guy entirely. But yeah, there's like really nothing at all for us to... Oh, and here's our trade company investments. Excellent. At some point, we'll want to do something with that, but... Uh, for now, it's... Okay. Why can't I cross here? Oh, oh, never mind. It's because of... Yeah. Because of the uh, stuff over there. What the heck is the Oda? The fact that I can't see them is concerning. They do have transport ships, but... Yeah, they're all here, so I've got them pretty effectively hemmed in. Oh, 
for the moment at least. Oh, there they are. Oh, I see. They're they're rebuilding their and now they're going to This is exactly what I planned. Sort of. <laughs> they're going to come in here. This will be my chance to, uh, you know, slip around. Okay, that was a that was a good siege. And then, of course, we grab our units over here who are just uh, uniting. Get these guys up here. Do uh Oh, good. They just changed tact. Good. Didn't really need to send you all the way in here, though. All right, good. So now we're we're set. All right, we killed some ships, captured some ships. That's great. Captured their capital. Okay, but we are gonna want to fight at least this fight. But I think the smarter play might be to try to gather all my units in one spot, and then at that point. Uh, we might be able to stack wipe them, possibly. That is at least the logic I'm operating under here. Okay, you can go that way. I'm gonna leave so for now, I think. They're, they're such a small... You no, know, easily... Are, are you seriously? Seriously coming in here? Alright. I mean, don't say I didn't warn you. Of course, then again, the fact they're doing this leads me to suspect that they think they're actually going to be able to fight me, and that's, you know, disconcerting. Very disconcerting. And I'm about to lose against Madius. Not that I care about them. I don't even know who they are, truth be told. Okay. Hey, yeah, look at them. All right, so the plan is we march in with both of these guys. Take them out, and then we kind of see where life goes from there. And I can't even keep up with them. They're too fast. Naval supplies, naval supplies. How are our colonies doing anyway? We've still got like 100 million of them. But they're doing okay, so that's good. It is not quite time to tech up yet, though it will be at the end of this year. Oh, oh, we're going to catch up with them. Okay, so you go here and then here. All right. So yeah, if we can smush them, as it appears we are doing. But then again, they're building up a, a never round. All right. That, well, that was pretty good, actually. Ha <laughs> ha. How did our cannons do? The cannons actually took a little bit of... A uh, couple of cannons took some damage, but... Overall, things are pretty good. This guy's got his siege leadering going on, so we're gonna we're gonna go here, and we should keep our units close by. Like you should go there. You can go over here. Yeah. How how uh, how many men have we lost? Six thousand. So, yeah. Overall, probably not the greatest time to do that, but life life works out in its own little way. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Alright. Actually, you know what? You can just gather over here, because I don't think they would dare attack me while I've got the vast majority of my army gathered nearby. Also, good to hear the Mamluks have apparently uh, figured their stuff out. There we go. Alright. Okay, just need a thousand troops more. Oh, look at that. Our our vassal came over to help us. Thank you, vassal. Oh, and I'm going to lose this guy. Yep, lost him. All right, that's okay, though. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Frustrating, but perfectly fine. And what is going on over here? Yeah, how do you even have rebels? What is this about? Overextension. Oh, right. <laughs> but still, this is a thing. Apparently. And that's sad. For me. But I think I'll be able to pull that off. Kind of sad to have lost that one guy. 
He deserved better. But alas, that's life. Alright, so yeah, we'll keep exploring the Caribbean. We've actually almost mapped the whole world at this point, which is also pretty cool. As far as I know, no fancy achievements for that. But you don't need a fancy achievement for everything. Oh good, look at that. And we're already up to 97%. Okay, so take no more than... 65% overextension. Alright. So, for consistency, let's, uh, let's start by taking that. Make sure we've got all the areas. A little bit of that. Or no, not you. Uh, want your money. I'll skip you, because I would like to get war reps as well. And, uh... Alright, just under the bar. There we go. Dangerously high, but I do like to live dangerously. From time to time. And yeah, this is all gonna... Go away shortly. So it's just a simple matter of sending our our boys home, and I guess we'll we'll probably sit patiently for a little bit. Oh, our corruption's also going up. That was a. But you know what? That's fine. Oh, and we're going to be losing, uh, there we go, there we go. Actually, just taking those two might have been enough to, uh, deal with corruption anyway. And, yeah, there we go. Banner cavalry. Cannons are cannoning. Still need to work on replacing this, uh, where are you going? No, 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 go, uh, go this way and then to here. Oh, I've actually got a unit just sitting over here all by himself. It must be lonely. Alright. There we go. And then we'll just kind of get back to drilling and we'll we'll sit here quietly for a little bit. We'll build another guy. Probably not the best time to do that, but life goes on. And I should... I should endeavor to take... Oh, we can actually already take this? Nice. More global trade power and more states. Alright. What is this? Dragate is getting units. And gain an admiral with 50 tradition. Or to the academy to teach. So off to the academy I say. Oh, what's this? A free policy is available. That would be over here. So more privateering and ship durability. Or more settlers. Let's go with the Settlers for now, I think. Because I believe our ships are strong enough. Yeah, durability. So we're at uh, 25, and in order to get turtles all the way down, all we need to do now is, uh, yeah, this plus 20%, I believe. Yeah, because that would bring us up to 45, and for turtles all the way down... All we need is, if I can find it, do, 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 do. Let's go for that at some point if we feel we've got the time. That's going to take a while, but we'll also get that. Coin is stronger than the sword. Sadly, I don't think we can pull that one off. Uh, where is turn? Ah, here we are. Yeah, 35. So all we need to do... And I think what we'll do with this is we'll wait until the Age of Absolutism starts because this costs meritocracy and then when we lose some meritocracy then we can spend military points to bump it up and spending military points to bump up our meritocracy will also get us more absolutism if I am remembering that mechanic right. Do I uh... Oh crap, actually. Wait. We have two free active policies, we have one free, and because of this we pay- oh. This is what I was taking for. Okay. Automatically discover adjacent stuff when colonizing, that's kind of useless. Uh, this is actually good. Okay. There we go. And we have no military stuff. 
And to be honest, paying one Diplo point a month when we are making 10 already, pretty good to me. That's useful. That is acceptable. I mean, we're also paying like another free just for these guys. So, oh, and there's the cores coming in. Oh, drunken explorer. That's unfortunate. Okay, you're doing that. You do this. Get rid of this fort, because we don't need forts. Forts are for suckers, I always say. Brunian separatists are still Brunying. Why, why do you do this to me? Giving me all this. You know what? Fine. There you go. I don't want to deal with you. You also go back to drilling. Alright, so here is where things also get interesting again. So these are going to be done soon, in July. Let's wait just a few more months. Because it's entirely possible we'll get some really bad events if we go over 100% overextension. So this will be 11. So 63, so we can't take more than 37% overextension for ourselves. The rest has to go to Chew. Wait for it. Okay. So remember that. We can take up to 37% for ourselves. The rest will ultimately have to go to Chew. And uh, let's actually look at this. That's 12. Uh, 12, 17, uh, 20, uh, 25. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, I think I can pull this off. If absolutely necessary, we can give Ordos over to them. Most of the overextension is coming from these provinces here, which we'll give to Chu. That way they become Chu's problem. We'll delete this fort so Chu doesn't have to pay for them. All right, Chu. Choo 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 choo. Where are you, my good sir? Alright, have some provinces. Uh, if I can stop clicking on the wrong things. Alright, Grant Province. Uh, Ping Liang. That's you. Okay. And also uh, Feng Xiang. You know, I like to think I'm getting better at pronouncing these. But there's a part of me that thinks, maybe I'm not. But you know what? Gotta have some confidence in yourself. Especially when you're wrong. But not enough, not so much confidence that you can't admit you're wrong. But just enough confidence to not get yourself bent out of shape over being wrong. Or not, don't be afraid of being wrong. That's, that's what I'm getting at here. Being wrong is just a chance to learn. Alright, so how are we looking? 102, so we got to give him Ordos as well. All right. There we go. Now we are just under... Ah, crap. Don't have quite enough points to core all this. Not all at once, but at the end of the day, Everything mostly worked out. Alright. Lost the effects of the war for heaven. How much are we making per month? 12. Alright. I mean, that's not bad. Could be better. Our mandate is doing relatively well. We're going to be able to go to war uh, soon-ish. Guamdo. Where are these provinces? Right. And where is the other one? Right here. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll move you guys over here. What is uh what is it looking like over here? That's pretty bad. Non accepted culture, the religious unity problem, separatism. Not looking great for us at the moment. But it should be fine in the long run. The key thing is to not worry our pretty little heads over it too much. Okay. 
Oh, gems. Nice. Alright, our truces have ended, so we could go to war soon. Alright, that's, that's still gonna hurt, but it's much better than it could have been. And that's gonna take a while. But alright, overall, so far so good. Uh, sure, why not? It doesn't cost me anything to share some, some stuff with you. And did Bengal win? No, they, they had a chunk taken out of them, didn't they? Ottomans have accepted peace. Poor Mamluks. Let's do another best guess here. All right. And bada bing, bada boom. All right, so 9% overextension right here, or no, 9% tech cost, 3,000 ducats. Honestly, a war with Bengal would probably get us the money we need. Uh, actually, who is allied with Bengal? Just Shagate. All right, so how do we want to do this exactly? I'm actually thinking we might want to take some land also, how does harmonizing go? Do I have to... Not enough development. Okay, so it's just provincial development. And we just need 20. And apparently, if I just developed uh, a little bit in my overseas province... Or I guess just... How did this get to 14? Are these, are these provinces literally just that good? They are, actually. All right. So I should probably colonize over here a little. Get a little bit... Well, this is Muslim. This is also Muslim. Then in Hindu. So I don't technically even have to conquer any Hindu land if I want to uh, do anything over here. Okay, you're almost done. Russia's declared war... Ooh. Spicy. This is going to be interesting. So Russia versus the Ottomans. How exciting. Oh yeah, I need to, at some point, have a, a insult to these guys so I can get a one of them. I've got to scornfully insult one of them. Let's uh, scornfully insult you. Does this get me 10 power projection so we get the extra monarch points? We'll also make these guys like us a little bit more. Oh look, there's some lovely filth over here. Truly a scorching burn there. How will they ever... Don't, uh, don't... Yeah, that's right. That's right, you walk away. You're harmonized with my faith. Alright, four years, nine years. Oh, there we go. Colony has succeeded. Great Britain did something. Don't really know or care what they did. I probably should know... Or care what they- oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay, so all we need to do is colonize this, then we could uh, synchronize with uh, Sunni if we want it. And I guess, honestly, if we then colonize this, we could uh, synchronize with Hindu without ever having to go to war over here. But I think we do want to take some Bengal land, just enough so we could actually uh, go to war with uh, Wan Pur over here, who is allied with Gujarat. And Gujarat is allied with the Ottomans. Okay, so we don't want to directly go to war with them. But honestly, if we could, uh, if we could get Gujarat in there as well as uh, Bengal, Wanpur, and Malwa as tributaries, then I'd say we'd be in a pretty good position. Oh, actually, yeah, going to war with Wanpur would bring in Malwa. And if we called them in as a co-belligerent, we might be able to separate piece them as and make them a tributary. Or actually, what we'd probably want to do is, if we could only pick one, we'd want Malwa to be our tributary. And it's time to wrap this episode up. My goodness, I wasn't even paying attention to the timer. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.